It's been quite a while since I played Wings of Fire Roblox. The game has slowed development-wise because Archeonia is on a big mental health break for college, and obviously there hasn't been much public development we can see. I'll most likely make videos on any updates that the game receives in the future, whenever that may be, but I'm finally and officially saying that I have obviously moved on from that game. This video isn't about Wings of Fire Roblox though, I just wanted to state that because I almost made a video about the subject entirely because there has been some little bits of development, but honestly I am just completely demotivated and uninspired by the thought of making any content on the game and Honestly, I feel like at this point I'd be milking a dead horse at this point. However, I have finally found a new Wings of Fire game that piques my interest. There have been countless Wings of Fire games created on Roblox after people started realizing, hey, I can make a game like that too. But none have really grabbed me and pulled me in, so I've never made any content on any of them. The game that finally made me feel like making Wings of Fire content again was a game previously called Talons of Pyria, but is now named Talons of Destiny. Talons of Destiny has only been in development for a few months and was created by Goldie Bay. The game contains really well-made and detailed models that stay on model with the original source material really well. They actually have a good front view. There's quality in this stuff. Look at this googly eyes. But anyways, this game has a lot of potential, and I wanted to check it out a while ago, so I did. Talons of Destiny is a game based on the Wings of Fire book series. Goldie plans to make a fully playable storyline with animated and voice acted cutscenes that play out the story of Wings of Fire. Currently, the game is focusing on getting its other game mode completed for the most part. This mode is more familiar to you in that it's more roleplay oriented, letting you choose and customize any of the current tribes in the game while allowing you to explore wonderfully detailed maps. Talons of Destiny currently includes many tribes from the series, but is a heavy work in progress as many of the animations, features, and functions aren't finalized. The animations in this game really bring out the quality of the models and make them seem a lot more lifelike and enjoyable to play as. Like other roleplay games, there are emote functions with the current set of emotes that may expand in the future. In regards to customization, all Parian tribes are currently in the game with a basic, mostly temporary set of color palettes that allow you to color sections of the dragon. At some point, these sections will be split up and allow you to color each joint of the dragon, like each little part, allowing you to make beautiful fades, patterns, and other features that make the models look like whatever OC or character you'd like. The game will have full accessories for all tribes, allowing for even more unique customization. Again, however, all of that is a work in progress. But the game is very, very playable, and I recommend you go check it out. You've seen footage of it on screen this entire time, actually. Talons of Destiny is rounding out to be a very memorable and enjoyable Wings of Fire game that I fully support because I'm actually helping with the game. The development team includes Goldie Bays, the creator, modeler, and primary coder for the game. She animated a lot of the animations you see on the models, specifically the movement ones like running and flying. She also works on the map stuff. Me! I work on the game as an animator and map artist, working to make the current Sea Wing Kingdom map feel alive and wonderful and able to have amazing roleplay experiences on. Ministy is one of the sound and music designers for the game. Gobi is also a music and sound designer for the game and has created the music you currently hear in game when you play now. Sea Viper is another member of the team that does animation for the models and such. And one of the most crucial members of our team is User, who is a lifesaver to the team and does scripting and coding for the game and is just amazing. This is the team working on the game to make it an enjoyable experience, and I hope you guys will check it out once you're done watching this video. As someone who actually works on it, I'll be able to give you guys correct and up-to-date information when I can. However, I'll still be keeping secrets for things that we've done that aren't ready to see yet, so no leaks for me, silly billies. I'm going to actually join and walk around the game in a second, but here are some other planned features, maps, and possible questions answered. There will be hybrid features in this game, included in a game pass that utilizes using other tribe parts as accessories to make it look like you have a hybrid dragon. There will not be individual models for each part possible hybrid. There will be multiple maps to roleplay in for the roleplay aspect of the game, but the current focus is the Sea Wing Kingdom, which includes the Summer and Deep Palace and a few fun islands, beaches, caves, and a whole ocean with moving fauna to explore. There will be more accessories. There will also be ages and such, but that is a feature for later and is not the current focus of the game. Many other features will be included and you are welcome to add questions in the comments because I am happy to try and answer the ones that I can. There is an actual list of the current itinerary of what will be worked on first and what will be worked on later, so please look at that in game as it currently gives a better understanding of stuff. Currently, we're trying to get flying back into the game and get all animations for tribes finished and polished. With all that introduction to the game out of the way, let me show you around the game. Okay, so we are in game now, and what I'll be showing right now is what it's like to join the game and run around and show some of the features and such. And after that, I'll go around in studio and show you some more close-up things about the Sea Wing Kingdom map and what we're working on. So, press the play button right now. Whenever you load in, you can actually turn and rotate each of the tribes and kind of get a good view of the models and stuff. I'm going to click the Sea Wing because it's my favorite tribe right now, and here we are. There's still a lot of bugs in the game 
because there's a lot being worked on and stuff, but we promise that it'll get fixed at some point, so don't worry about that. This is what uh, customization looks like. Let's make a green ceiling. That'll work. You can click each section of this right now. Coloring in the game right now is very simple. All you, it's just you click a button on the right section and then it colors it and stuff like that and makes it... There's really not much to it. It's fun. It's neat. You can have some individualization, which is a lot different from how it used to be, which was no customization. So we're getting it worked on. It'll be nice. If you click this area up here, right now is where accessories are. And I can put things in like a nose hoop and glasses. We'll travel around, so we'll put a neck bag on and a hip bag just for fun. See, these buttons right now, they're misaligned and it's kind of hard to click stuff. Just There's lots of little bugs like that, but again, at some point, they'll all get fixed. Right now, we are currently, again, just working on getting flying into the game, fixing a lot of the animations that are messed up, and I think trying to fix customization up a little bit more, and then we'll move on. All the while, we're working on the map and such and whatever, so yay! Here's our ceiling right now, so we can click finish. You can also add a bio and stuff like that. Whenever you spawn back in, you can still click customization and you can go back and edit your stuff in game. So I'll name myself Kelton. Yeah, you can also, no, wait, oopsie. You can edit your bio and your colors and stuff in game, my bad. But that's what it's like to spawn in. You can do that with all tribes. Not all tribes have accessories right now, but that's all that'll also be working on in the future. And yeah, all right now we have a few NPCs. Like here's Queen Coral right here. You can click and talk to her. She's very neat. Oh, why, hello there. Is there anything I can do to help you? And where did you get your pearl necklace from? They are handcrafted by Lobster. They're a jeweler down by the Deep Palace. Give them my blessing if you stop by. Stuff like that, you can talk to her more in-game if you want to. But stuff like that, at some point NPCs will give quests and things and be fun. So and you can just talk to them for trivia. It's like neat, you know, stuff like that. Lots of roleplay opportunities. There's more updates to this palace in the in studio, which I can show in a minute, but right here is the meeting floor, kind of right now, nothing much to it, but it has each little thing, pool, you can do an entire like role play here if you wanted to, it should be so, so fun. Right now, to get to the outside, you have to click these teleport things, but at some point you'll actually be able to like swim through the tunnel into it and stuff out and like make it neat, but this is the shore, which we're really proud of, it's really pretty, I can show it better in the studio, get a better view of it since you can't really fly right now, but um, oh, if you notice that the ceiling running animation doesn't look like the one I showed earlier, there's an updated one that is not in-game yet, so. Oh, here's some of the, one of the moving NPCs. There he goes, little crabby on his way. There's another one over here that I animated and put. Here he is, and he just sits and he eats sand. That is what he does. Emote features in action. You can sit, lay down, stuff like that. Here's a disgust animation I made. All the animations exist. Some of them just look a little wonky on some tribes, and that's what we're working on fixing. Let's go, let's hop in studio and go look at that stuff. All right, so here we are in studio where I can show parts of the game that aren't updated yet, since we have a lot of things that haven't been put in the big update yet. Here is the ceiling palace and stuff like that. Um, before I move on or anything, the flying that I showed earlier was a big work in progress just because we haven't gotten all the animations done, and especially on all the other tribes. Like, there isn't a takeoff or landing for the sea wing yet. There's just stuff like that that needs to be done before it can come out, but the actual script and stuff is like fine. Same for swimming. Swimming's also getting worked out. Just, just moving along fine. So here is the summer palace in all of its glory. Now, not all the floors are done, but here's like the um, battle stage floor, which is very, very fun. I had fun decorating that. Here is like another little thing here. Look, <laughs> here's a picture of Blaze that got hit because she's stupid. Here's the kitchen, which I'm really excited for. So if you have a cooking OC, have fun with that. Got stuff like a big pot right there. Have all these things. Coconut. Coconut with spilled coconut milk, which is very fun. You can even go inside of the oven in the actual game when it's loaded, so that's really funny. Here, whenever you're actually able to fly, there's lots of caves that you can pop into around. At some point, they may be like um, customizable dens and things like that. A whole bunch of stuff that you can explore for yourself. Another good piece of information to know, we didn't make any of these plant models. They were either purchased or found in free packs, but any of the other models were made by Goldie, so yeah. Same with the rocks. We found the rocks in packs and stuff too, but Goldie also models them because they're just rocks. They're easy to model. Here is a good view of the shoreline from far away, which is great. Little scripters in-game right there is funny. Here's one of the islands. 
There's the only other islands like over there and over there, but like here's an island. Let's dive under the sea. Ta-da! Very, very big landmass to explore in. There's gonna probably be underwater dens, stuff like that. Here's a big coral reef. I hope people have like a little sea wing wedding, like wedding underneath this thing right here. There's just so much, so much to show you guys. We are working on the Nightwing map, but I'm not going to show any in this video, and I can show that in development videos in the future, because I will just be doing normal development stuff and showing it, just like I did in the old Wings of Fire game. Here is like a uh, clothes shop, right here with lobster that was mentioned before. There's an entire little sewing market over here, if we swim over here. It's got a whole bunch of little stands that you can roleplay in, that'll have more NPCs, lots of fun stuff. This game as I've said a million times before, is a huge, huge, huge work in progress. I really hope you guys start sharing it and supporting it because I will definitely be making videos on it and any development it has because I really enjoy it and I'm not just saying that because I work on it. It is gonna be a fun game. We have a lot of attention to detail and I really love it if anyone would start making videos on it yourself because I might share them in my community tab and stuff like that. Just Share it with your friends. Yeah, that's what we've got so far for Talons of Destiny. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments, and I or Goldie will try to answer them the best we can ourselves, because we love that, and it's great. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes stuff. I will give more development things in the future, and maybe a video showcasing all the development so far, so. If you have any ideas for the game, say stuff. I love it. So thank you for watching. That's all. Okay. Bye-bye.